Hi, my name is Inga Marie Venice. I work for the World Food Programme in Northeast Nigeria. Um, in three states that has been affected by conflict for the past 10 years. Over the last couple of weeks or three, there has been renewed fighting in this area and attacks which has forced, which has forced about 50,000 people more or less to flee their homes. And that means that there's a lot of new arrivals now coming into camps uh, in the main town Maiduguri in Borno State and also some other places around uh, the state. Um, and we are out now in one camp called NYSC today to visit some of the new arrivals and see how they are. What happened here in uh, NYSC camp is that um, they are sheltering in big buildings like this and now the camera just have to adjust a little bit um, but I'm just going to show you how it looks and how people are living. So they built little shelters within this building just to try to get a little bit of privacy. Like this. And here's one lady that we talked to just a minute ago. And I'm turning to Claudia again. Claudia, can you please tell what the, this lady told us? Yes. Her name is Fanna. She is from Kofa in Kondoga local government. She stays there with her husband and they have a little vegetation farm, a vegetable farm where she assists her husband in managing it. From the vegetable farm they get food to eat and a little bit to sell and sustain themselves. She has just one son. But about three months ago there was an attack in their village. Their houses were burnt down and they had to flee. Her husband is in Lagos right now trying to make ends meet but since the left she's not been able to contact she's not established contact with her husband she's in this camp and right now she's not been getting um, any help except from her mother where she gets a little bit of food item where she cooks and sustains herself and her son she has one son so as I recall it, she only came to this camp a week ago. A week ago. Okay, so yes. she's just been registered and next time we distribute she'll be on, on the program. Yes, next month's intervention she'll be on the program. Okay. Yes. So I think it's about time to say goodbye here from um, NYSC camp in uh, Maiduguri, uh, where the World Food Program and other agencies um, all the time trying to uh, find ways to assist people who live here as quick as possible and this is the lady that we were just talking about who has been separated from her husband that story we hear all the time people, families get split up due to fighting when they're fleeing um, or also because some of the husbands they try to go to other places to see if they can generate some kind of income to support the family.